It is not the body that counts, it is the mind that counts. In spirituality, it treats with the mind. Therefore, it treats with the body. The mind is the supreme boss of the body. Everything is psychosomatic, 100%. Spirituality is nothing but psychosomaticity. Definitely. You treat the psyche, the soma gets treated. The soma is a natural shadow of the psyche. This is the truth of spirituality. So, in spirituality, we heal the psyche, we treat the psyche through hope, through faith, through science, through spiritual science, through friendship, through meditation, energy. A healed mind is the source of a healed body. Everything is psychosomaticity. This is, this is what the whole medical fraternity has to understand. It is the duty of medical fraternity to understand meditation. It is not an option anymore. It is compulsory education. Further education of medical fraternity. What you have not learnt in the medical colleges, now you have to begin to learn. All medical fraternity is very great, doing great service, but it's all half-baked science because the mind is not included. We have to include the mind primarily. We have to understand the soul. The mind is a reflection of the soul. Soul is a permanent entity. The mind's power comes from the soul's knowledge. The soul's knowledge is spirituality, spiritual science. When you give spiritual knowledge to the mind, mind becomes powerful, hopeful, healed, treated. Then the body gets healed. So this process has to be understood by the whole of the medical fraternity all over the world. I am happy that you are here from that fraternity Swamiji. Nice to hear your words. We are all here to change this world into a better world. How do we do it? We contribute our own might to the world, our own little knowledge to the world. I am contributing my little knowledge to the world. You are also contributing your little knowledge to the world. Chandra is contributing his little knowledge to the world. Knowledge is important. Knowledge of so many things. Knowledge of material things, knowledge of spirituality, knowledge of the mind, knowledge of the soul. <coughs> so many kinds of knowledge. Spiritual science is the ultimate knowledge. That is the source of all knowledge. And the source of spiritual science is meditation. You need to do meditation. You need to close your eyes. And become one with your breath for three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours. To understand meditation, to be in meditation, to get energy from meditation. All medical fraternity needs the practice of meditation to understand what is meditation. Then they can they will recommend meditation to their patients. Psychosomaticity, that is the word. Everything is psychosomatic. The whole thing in life is psychosomaticity. Success, failure, disease, illness, wellness, short life, long life, eternal life. Everything is psychosomaticity. Lock, stock and barrel. Thousand percent psychosomaticity. Not even hundred percent, it is thousand percent. When you understand this, you understand spiritual science. Spiritual science says psychosomaticity. In one sentence, that is the definition of spiritual science. As you think, so you become. 
यदभावम तद्भवती एज यूर माइंड इज सो इज यूर बॉडी एज यूर माइंड इज सो इज यूर डेस्टनी या मति ही सा गति भवेत जैसे आपका मति होती है वैसे ही आपका गति बनती है आपकी गति आपकी डेस्टनी आपके मति के ऊपर निर्भर है मति इज माइंड जैसा आपका मति वैसा ही आपकी गति एज यूर माइंड इज सो इज यूर डेस्टनी सो एज यूर थिंकिंग सो यूर डेस्टनी सो वी हैव टू कल्टिवेट बेटर एंड बेटर थिंकिंग फ्रॉम नेगेटिव थिंकिंग वी हैव टू कम टू पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग फ्रॉम पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग वी हैव टू गो टू मेरा थिंकिंग वी हैव टू अपग्रेड अवर थिंकिंग एज यू थिंक सो इट बिकम्स अगेन स्पिरिचुअल साइंस इज नथिंग बट साइको सोमैटिसिटी Everything begins in the psyche, expresses itself in the soma. The body is a natural shadow of the mind, state of the mind. Your body represents, reflects the state of the mind. If you have a kidney failure, it means you have got a mental failure. If you got a heart failure, it means you have got a mental failure. If you got paralysis, it means you have mental failure, mental paralysis. Something very very wrong in your mental thinking. Something very very wrong in your mental knowledge.